pleasure. So the White House put out a statement uh, in reaction to this revelation today, and they said this, quote, after a disgusting attack lamenting that the president's deceased son, Bo, was never prosecuted while he was alive, Congressman Comer has now decided to go after Bo's widow. Instead of bizarrely attacking the president's family, perhaps House Republicans should focus on working with the president to deliver results for American families on important priorities like lowering costs and strengthening health care. Uh, quite the pivot there, Congressman. Your reaction? Pretty typical. You've got, they're caught, they're in the sights, and they know it. James Comer is an excellent chairman of oversight. He left no stone unturned. He has clearly uh, turned over some things that show the crooked dealings of this family, and they are a crime family. I mean, you're, we're dealing with the Chinese communists, the country that was allowed to fly a surveillance balloon over our, that transverse the entire continental United States of America, the president's brother, um, the president's son, and now the widow of his of, of a, the son, the widow of, of his deceased son are all involved in this. These are cat. These are payments. They need to disclose what these payments were for if they weren't uh, for influence and and doing business with the communist Chinese is the wrong way. You know they've infiltrated our departments of education, our research institutes, um, even our Congress actually, and um, and it's time the American public says enough is enough and and this. We need to put this chapter behind us. This is a horrible president, and um, and he's completely 100% compromised by our number one enemy in the world, and that is the communist Chinese. So, so Hunter's business associate, this Rob Walker, uh, Miranda Devine of the New York Post wrote about him in her book, Laptop from Hell, and she says he described himself as a proxy for Hunter Biden, Jim Biden, and the Bidens around the world. Uh, do you think we'll be hearing more from this Rob Walker? Does the, the uh, committee have any plans to, to connect with him? Uh, yes, ma'am. I just hope he doesn't um, uh, do something Clinton-esque. I hope he doesn't commit suicide by shooting himself in the back of the head five times, because this is what happens to people like this. He's come forward, they are caught, and they know it. And they'll say, and you know, it's obvious too, they're attacking Chairman Comer in his hometown. They're, they're uh, bringing up things about that just have nothing to do with him. And with billboards and other, it's pretty cheap, lame attacks. And the people of Kentucky that elected Jamie Comer are much wiser than uh, the Biden crime syndicate gives them credit for. And it, it's pretty disgusting, yeah, he, really. He has rolled up his sleeves and gotten right to work. And it's uh, we admire the work that you're doing. And I know you've got 14 years of these bank records to, to sift through here. What more can we expect to come from this right now? I suspect you're going to see more ties with the communist Chinese. And you're going to see why we, um, the State Department and others, have backed off of them and why this White House refuses to take the gloves off against the communist Chinese, because he, they're completely compromised. They've been paid, bought and paid for by them, uh, just wrapped up in a nice little box. And this is, it's pretty evident what's going on. And, and there'll be a lot more that'll come forward with this. Will there be a world where we'll see a Hunter Biden and a Halle Biden uh, perhaps forced to testify over this? I suspect they'll run and hide. They'll, they'll try to run the clock mm. out. I would hope that would be the case. But uh, this White House and this administration has no guts and they have no integrity. So I don't expect them in uh, any shape, form or fashion to come in willingly. Um, it'll be coming kicking and screaming. But they need to if it needs <laughs> to. I mean, this is, this is pathetic and it's going to just get worse, ma'am. It's going to get a whole heck of a lot worse. Well, Congressman, you got your work cut out for you, but uh, no better group of, of folks to be doing the job. We appreciate you, Congressman Tim Burchett. Uh, always Thank good to you. see you, sir. And uh, we appreciate the good folks at Newsmax, and we're going to keep fighting big tech on your all's behalf. Thank you so much.